Good morning, it's the Day of Atonement. Even yesterday was celebrated and honored in Israel, where millions probably across the world held a day of fasting and honored the Day of Atonement, where once a year, the, the high priest would go in to the Holy of Holies and offer the blood of bulls and goats to make atonement for the sins of the whole nation. It was a day of awe. This is the tenth day of the days of the ten days of awe. They, they, no one would work in Israel. It was treated as so holy. They would all fast. I wonder if there's a dimension that God wants us to recover of, of awe of what happened when our great high priest Jesus passed through his veil, his, his body at the cross. The veil was rent in the heavenly tabernacle and he entered into heaven now standing before the Father forever and giving us access into his presence. I, I, I wanna stand today in, in a sense of great awe and the power of the blood that atones for our sins. Today on this day of atonement, our community is going on at three o'clock to offer up, uh, to remember the blood of, of Jesus Christ, our great high priest. We will celebrate his mercy toward us. But we also be entering into his intercessions, the one who has entered into the presence of the Lord now ever making intercession for us that we might pray that the veil that has already been rent through his body still covers the eyes of the Jewish peoples that cannot see there is a veil it's hidden before that they cannot see the light of the glory of God in the face of Christ today on this day of atonement I just want to pray with and we're doing it with our community Rip the veil that's over their eyes so that they could see. Could we dare to believe even today that there will be thousands of Jewish peoples having dreams of Yeshua, drawn to the scriptures, don't even know why, that, that laborers would be hurled forth this day, divine appointments, and men and women of, of Jesus' own people, the Jewish peoples, would behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Would you join us today? And let's be praying for that. Secondly, on that day uh, at three o'clock, the day Jesus, at uh, the time Jesus died, we are praying God that that we would be bringing the the blood not of uh, of goats and bulls, but the blood of Jesus in intercession to bring it before the throne of Christ on behalf of America, where sixty million babies' blood cries out from the God, God uh, from the ground for vengeance, we would plead a better blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel crying judgment. Mercy, mercy. Today, we are crying out, Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins and the sins of my nation. God, have mercy. God, end abortion and send revival to America. Would you believe for me today? I believe we're coming into days that are shocking, almost terrifying but also filled with glory. Matt Lockett of Bound for Life had a dream, and I think I shared it yesterday, but I'll say it again. He had a dream just, uh, uh, just a, a brief while ago. It, he heard a dictation coming from God, a voice, not a dream, but a voice. And the voice was this, I will roar over the oppressed. I will suffer their oppression no longer woke up in a sense of shock almost terrified and at the same time rejoicing you see when jesus comes to judge for the oppressed it is terrifying but he's also coming mighty to save i have a feeling god is coming to deal with this nation on the blood of 60 million babies let alone all of our sins there is a blood that speaks better. It's the blood of the lamb. I believe he's coming in judgments. I believe he's coming in glorious salvation. 
Who is this who comes from Basra? It was it's bloody with it, with blood on his garments. Isaiah 63. He comes mighty to save. Oh, when God shakes the earth, it's not because he's, he, he's vindictive. He is coming to, to set the captive free. Oh, God, Jesus, I plead your blood. God, end abortion. Send revival to America. This is the day of atonement. Let's walk in a sense of awe this day and every day at the glorious salvation of our Savior. Bless you.